Hey guys, welcome to my channel iCode. I am Pallav and today we are going to discuss about one more operator by Combine that is Zip. In my previous video we discussed about the Combine latest and toward the end of the video I told you that in next video we will be discussing about Zip. We will be showing the coupons screen, the rewards screen using the Zip operator. So today in this video we will be continuing the same example. If you want to learn about Combine latest here is the link but even if you don't it's completely fine because the things that we'll be discussing today in this video they do not require previous video as a prerequisite it's just that we'll be continuing the same example that's it in this video we'll see that what is zip how is it different from combine latest where can we use it and how can we use it so without wasting any more time let's jump to export let's start with the very obvious question that what is zip and to answer that let's go to the official documentation and here let's look for zip so here you can see that zip is a publisher which takes other publishers as the parameters as the arguments and then returns the tuple just like combine latest do so then what is the difference between combine latest and zip and the answer is that zip will return only when all of the publishers will complete their execution just like the dispatch group works i am relating this with dispatch group so that it becomes easier to understand but it is not exactly like that the internal working of zip is different than what is from the dispatch group so the difference is that zip will pass on the values to the downstream only when all of the publishers have completed their execution. While in case of combined latest, it will pass the value to the downstream whenever the value of any of the publisher changes. So that is what we discussed in the previous video. And if you are finding this difficult to understand that what is this publisher or what is combined latest or what are we discussing about, here's a link to one of my videos that I did on combined in which I discussed the combine from very basics that what is publisher, subscriber, operators, how do they work together, how can we club them, how can we make a web service call using future publisher and everything else. So you can have a look at that video. Now coming back to zip. So zip is a publisher which takes different publishers as the parameter and once the execution completes, it passes the value to the downstream. It is also available in different variants, the one taking two parameters, three parameters, four parameters, just like combine latest. So that was a basic understanding about zip. Now let's see it in action. So for that, we have a sign up screen here and we applied the combine latest. We saw combine latest in action on the same sign up screen. So if I turn the switch off, the sign up button gets disabled. This is what we achieved using combine latest. And now let's take it a step further that what should happen when we tap on the sign up button. So on the click of the sign up button, we want to make two API calls parallelly. Both the API calls will be made asynchronously but we want to proceed to the next step to the next screen only when we get the response from both of them. This is what we used to do with dispatch group. Whenever we wanted to make a service calls and proceed only on completion, we would get the response in the notify and then we proceed from there. But let's look at the combined way of doing this. And for that, we will be using the zip operator. So here in this class view controller, this is everything about the combined latest. And on the click of the submit button, I'm calling a method that is get onboarding data of my view model. You do not worry about the code. I'll put it on the GitHub and we'll put the link in the description so you can clone it from there. Let's look at this get onboarding data, this method, and let's see that what is happening here. And it's even better to start from the first line of the view model itself. So the first line says that I am having a user profile, a model, and I have declared it with at the rate published property wrapper. So just for the revision, at the rate published property wrapper will automatically write a will set block for your property. And whenever the value will change, the observers will be notified. So that was about at the rate published property wrapper. Next comes the cancelables. We also discussed that what are cancelables. But just for the revision, this set of any cancelable will be used for retaining our subscriptions. So whatever publishers we will be subscribing to, we will hold the subscription. We will retain them using this set. If you want to understand in detail, you can look at it in the video that we did on the combined latest. Now comes our method that is get onboarding data and let's see that what is happening here. So on the first line of this method, we are calling publishers.zip and passing two parameters to it. Now let's break it that what are we actually passing. So for that, let's look at this method that is get publisher and here's this method. So it takes a URL a type of decodable I am using generics here well that is not related to the zip operator but just for this particular use case so basically I am passing a URL and a model type decodable and this method is returning me a publisher a future publisher so just to remind you about future publisher it will return you a value at some time in future so this is what we are using for making our web service calls. If you want to look at the detailed implementation of this class that is network manager, which is using the future publisher, 
or if you want to understand the explanation that what all is happening here and how we are doing that you can have a look at the first video that i did of combine here's the link to that so we are just getting the future publisher as a return type from this method for the url which we are passing now because we want to make two api calls that is why i am calling this method get publisher twice here but of course the the model type that is sign up coupons model and sign up profile model the model type is different and the url is also different for coupons and profiles now what we are doing here is that we are passing these two future publishers returned from this method to the zip and then zip is returning us something on which we are using the map operator and then sync and everything else so let's see that what is being returned by zip here and for that if i rewrite this line that is publishers dot map we see that sign up coupons model and sign up profile model these are the models that we have passed for our future publisher for getting our future publisher so these are being returned by the zip and by the time this map block will be called this this block of code will be called our web service calls would have been completed because that's the whole point of zip zip will only pass the values to the downstream once all the publishers have completed their execution which means that when the api call for coupons and profile both of them will be completed then only the map block will be executed and then we'll get the pass models of our types that is sign up coupons model and sign up profile model in the map operator and then we are doing something in the map that is we are mapping these two models into one that is our user profile model so this completely depends on your business logic you can play with it as per your requirements so here i just wanted to club both of these models into one that is my user profile model if i show this to you this takes two models one for sign up profile model and one for the sign up coupons model this is an array now of course this is for dummy purpose in the actual project the things won't be like this you won't be calling the the coupons or rewards they pay separately ideally that should come directly in the response of the sign up itself because that call will be done by backend and then the consolidated response will be written to you but just to understand the concept of zip of making two different api calls together we are considering this use case now once this map block will be completed here we are subscribing to our publisher using sync i have also explained that what is sync in detail in first video of mine but just for the revision we'll get the values processed by the map operator in this sync block so if everything goes well we'll get the values in the receive value completion block and we get the failure or the success in this first block of the sync so if i rewrite it here just to show the first parameter is receive completion and the second one is for receive value so in the first one we get a completion block telling about the success or failures and in the second block we actually get the values so this is what we are using here and then we are storing our subscription in the set of any cancelable so this is where we are retaining our subscription so if i go to the documentation of this sync you will see that it returns an any cancelable and here you can see that deallocation of the result will tear down the subscription stream what this means is that if we do not retain our subscription everything that we are doing here will be flushed will be freed from the memory as soon as this is scope completes and because this is an asynchronous call we don't know that when the scope will be completed so that is why we need to retain our subscriptions that is why we are using the set of any cancelables here so that's all that's pretty much that is happening here now as soon as i'll assign this profile model to my user profile which is my published property and this my entire view model is an observable object my view controller will automatically get to know about that so that is the whole point of using published i told this earlier too that when we mark any property with at the rate published property wrapper the observers are automatically notified about it so if we go to the observer part in the view controller here here is the method that i told you that we'll discuss later that is bind view model so in the view did load i am calling this method that is bind view model and here if you will see i am binding i am listening i am observing to this property of my view model that is user profile of course i am receiving the events on the main thread and in the sync block again i am presenting whatever is to be presented so in this case of ours i am on the success of both the apis i am presenting this coupons screen this rewards screen so the purpose of zip operator was to hold the output to hold the downstream till the time all the publishers do not get executed and the way we utilized it was by making different asynchronous calls and then proceeding only on the completion of them there can be other use cases too zip can be used in a hell lot of places but this was just to give you an idea that how you can use zip for making asynchronous calls and how we can achieve something for which we have been using dispatch group because combine is very powerful and if we are using it let's try to use it at every place possible
So I hope that you got the gist of zip and how to use it. That's pretty much for this video. A new video comes out every weekend so you can consider subscribing to the channel. Let's write better code together. Happy coding and stay safe.